Around the world in a bit more detail for you. And the effort to free the British hostage in Iraq may be getting help from an unexpected ally. Kenneth Bigley has been held by militants for more than two weeks now. He was abducted with two American colleagues who were beheaded. Well, Bigley's brother says he recently contacted the son of Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi. ITN's Helen Callahan has this story. Could this man's influence help persuade the kidnappers to release Ken Bigley? Colonel Gaddafi's son, Saif, who's well known in British art and business circles, has promised the Bigleys that his family will help, using the Gaddafi Foundation's long-established contacts in Iraq. He gave his instructions to the staff of the Foundation to do whatever uh, they can in order to save the, uh, Mr. Bigley's life and uh, to try by all means to uh, have him uh, released. This could suit Colonel Gaddafi's renewed friendship with the West. He's met Tony Blair, renounced weapons of mass destruction, and though separate, the Gaddafi Foundation's financial clout has helped to free hostages in the past. Last year, the Foundation was instrumental in the release of 14 European tourists kidnapped in the Sahara. And four years ago, it was involved in getting five foreigners back from the Philippines. Over here, the people of Liverpool can only watch events in Iraq and hope for good news. Today, Muslims, Hindus and Christians came together to march through the city. Ken's son Craig apologised for not being with them and sent this message. I would like to thank the people of Merseyside for their continued support and prayers at this difficult time. We hope you understand that we cannot be with you today. That was ITN's Helen Callaghan reporting. Now, staying with that story, joining us now from Los Angeles to discuss the hostage situation is Libya relations expert Omar Turbi. Mr. Turbi, thank you for joining us. Just how influential an organization is the Qaddafi Foundation and what role can it really play in negotiating this release? Well, it seems like uh, Saif al-Islam Gaddafi, his name these days has become synonymous with uh, release of hostages. He's had some successes in the past, as you might uh, uh, remember, a couple of years ago in the Philippines. He's won the release of uh, four Western hostages. Um, I, I spoke with Saif uh, a few hours ago, and I think what he's doing, he's calling for the release of uh, Ken Bigley, as well as the, uh, the release of the two Iraqi scientists that have been in detention under American control in Iraq. As you know, the uh, hostage takers made a demand uh, for the release of those two Iraqi uh, scientists. I happen to think that these two issues that are not really related in, in, in some ways. I think each uh, situation can stand in its own merit. Uh, the two scientists that are held in Iraq are two women. I think uh, just the fact that they are